to assemble your FlexCell FlexFlow shear stress device for stretch or flow applications, you will need your FlexFlow device, which consists of the stage flexor body and FlexFlow top with quick disconnects, your MasterFlex peristaltic pump with pump head and power cable, the RS232 serial to USB connector cable, silicone lubricant, two pulse dampeners, the FlexFlow bypass connector, the FX5000 tension system adapter, the white PVC volume additive, a fluid collection tray, one 500 milliliter culture media collection reservoir with quick disconnects, one vacuum bottle with quick disconnects, and the supplied tubing, fittings, adapters, culture slips, and stage flexor membranes. Before setting up your system, Please ensure that the pump head of the MasterFlex peristaltic pump is attached to the pump body. Also, please install the RS232 to USB driver using the CD included with the cable to your computer that will be used with the FlexFlow device and operating the StreamSoft software. Using the provided RS232 serial to USB connector cable, Connect the male RS232 serial cable end to the female RS232 port on the back of the MasterFlex pump. Connect the USB end to your computer. Using the provided power cable, connect the female end to the outlet on the back of the MasterFlex pump. The opposite end of the cable connects to the power outlet. Using the flip switch on the back of the MasterFlex pump, Turn the pump on. The digital display on the front of the pump will turn on. Next, we'll assemble the Flex Flow device. First, apply to the bottom and inside surfaces of the stage flexor body a thin layer of silicone lubricant. Place the yellow gasket ring into the stage flexor body and apply a thin layer of grease to its top surface. For strain application, place the stretch and flow post which has a circular ring in its center on top of the gasket and rotate it so that the long side of the post is perpendicular to the fittings on the front of the stage flexor body. If you are using flow only, use the flow only post. Apply a thin layer of lubricant to the top of the loading post, then carefully center the stage flexor membrane on top of the post. Place the O-ring on top of the membrane aligned with the groove around the top surface of the stage flexor body. Place the flex flow body on top of the O-ring, aligning the rectangular hole with the rectangular shape of the loading post. Place the four screws into the four holes in the flex flow and tighten until the membrane is fully clamped and flush with the top surface of the flex flow body. If needed, attach the microscope base plate to the bottom of the stage flexor body with the four provided screws. Your FlexFlow device is now assembled. Next, we'll connect the tubing and set up the flow system. It may be helpful to put all your system components in their desired position before cutting the tubing. First, determine how much tubing you will need to go from the outlet of the medium collection bottle through the pump to the first pulse dampener and cut this length of tubing. Slide a small tubing clamp onto the free end of the tubing and insert the barbed end of a male quick disconnect into the tubing. Pinch the clamp to tighten the tubing over the barbed end of the quick disconnect. Connect this quick disconnect to the outlet quick disconnect on the media collection bottle. Place the middle segment of the tubing into the pump head. Rotate the lever to the left to open the pump head for tubing placement, and then rotate the lever to the right to secure the tubing into the pump head. When not doing an experiment, the pump head lever should be rotated to the left to eliminate pressure on the tubing. Slide a small tubing clamp onto the free end of the tubing and connect to the barbed end of another male quick disconnect. Connect this quick disconnect to the first pulse dampener. Connect small tubing clamps and a male quick disconnects to both ends of a 3 to 4 inch or 7.6 to 10.2 centimeter long segment of clear silicone tubing. Use this tubing to connect the first pulse dampener to the second pulse dampener. 
Cut another length of tubing long enough to reach from the second pulse dampener to the FlexFlow device. Connect the barbed end of a male quick disconnect to the tubing with a small tubing clamp. Connect this quick disconnect to the second pulse dampener. Leave the other end of the tubing free. Cut another length of tubing long enough to reach from the flex flow device to the media collection bottle. Connect the barbed end of a male quick disconnect to the tubing with a small tubing clamp. Connect this quick disconnect to the inlet quick disconnect attached to the short piece of tubing in the media collection bottle. Leave the other end of the tubing free. Locate the bypass connector included with the system. Connect the two male quick disconnects of the bypass connector coming from the stopcocks to the two female ports on the front of the FlexFlow device. The off position of the stopcock valve levers should be facing upward. Connect the free end of the tubing coming from the second pulse dampener to the free stopcock end that leads to the inlet port of the FlexFlow device, secure with a small tubing clamp. Connect the free end of the tubing coming from the media collection bottle to the free stopcock end that leads to the outlet port on the FlexFlow device. Secure with a small tubing clamp. Connect one end of the blue 1 4 inch outer diameter tubing to the barbed fitting at the vacuum port on the side of the FlexFlow. Secure with a small tubing clamp. Connect the other end of the 1 4 inch outer diameter blue tubing to the 1 4 inch male quick disconnect on top of the vacuum bottle. To do so, remove the silver nut and slide it onto the tubing. Insert the tubing onto the barb of the quick disconnect until it is completely inside the tubing. Reconnect the silver nut by hand. Cut this length of tubing about 3 to 4 inches away from the FlexFlow device and put a gray quick 1 4 inch straight connector in line. Cut a length of the clear 3 8 inch outer diameter vinyl tubing to reach from your vacuum source to the larger 3 8 inch male quick disconnect on top of the vacuum bottle. Connect one end to your vacuum source and the other end to the quick disconnect on the vacuum bottle. If you plan to stretch and flow your cells, the barbed fitting at the front of the flex flow will need to be connected to the flex in and flex out ports on the FX5000 tension system. To make this connection, use the StageFlexer FX5000 adapter. This adapter has a large T connector with a long piece of 1 4 inch blue tubing and two shorter pieces of 1 4 inch blue and 3 8 inch clear tubing, both with quick disconnects on the ends, and a single piece of 1 4 inch blue tubing with a female quick disconnect on the end. Connect the single piece of blue tubing to the barb fitting on the front of the flex flow and secure with a small tubing clamp. Connect the male quick disconnect on the longer piece of blue tubing connected to the T connector to the female quick disconnect on the shorter piece of blue tubing that you just attached to the front of the flex flow. Connect the shorter blue and clear tubing attached to the T connector to quick disconnects connecting to the flex in and flex out tubing on the FX5000. Cut the larger clear tubing on the StageFlexer FX5000 adapter at its midpoint and add the white PVC pipe volume included with the system in line to help stabilize the FX5000 with sufficient air volume. Your flow system should flow as diagrammed here. Before the first use, run deionized water through the entire system to make sure there are no leaks. Prior to use with cells, Please flush the entire system first with PBS and second with the desired flow perfusate. Please see the FlexFlow user manual for proper techniques on handling the slides and ensuring the system is air bubble free. Your FlexFlow system is now ready for use in flex and flow mode. If you plan to apply flow to your cells, the barb fitting at the front of the FlexFlow will need to be connected to the vacuum bottle. To make this connection, Cut a length of 1 4 inch tubing to reach from the front barb on the FlexFlow device to the gray 1 4 inch straight connector leading from the side barb on the FlexFlow device to the vacuum bottle. Connect the 1 4 inch blue tubing to the front barb on the FlexFlow and secure with a small tubing clamp. Replace the gray 1 4 inch straight connector with the gray 1 4 inch T connector. Connect the open end of the 1 4 inch tubing 
coming from the front barb at the flex flow to the open port on the T. Your flex flow system should flow as diagrammed here. Before the first use, run deionized water through the entire system to make sure there are no leaks. Prior to use with cells, please flush the entire system first with PVS and second with the desired flow perfusate. Please see the FlexFlow user manual for proper techniques on handling the slides and ensuring the system is air bubble free. Your FlexFlow system is now ready for use in flow only mode.